Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are here to talk about some new makeup releases. I do not have a ton that I have saved, but there are some new makeup releases that caught my eye that I wanna chat about with you. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking, I love makeup, I love talking about makeup. So if you'd like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K-Bella fam. But why don't we go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so I did mention I don't have a ton of makeup products. I feel like the last time I filmed one of these, I had like a million makeup products. I don't have a ton, but there are a few that caught my eye that I wanted to talk about with you. The first one is from Melt Cosmetics, and it is their Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder. So it's all natural, lightweight, buildable coverage, soft focus, finished blurs, pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, giving a radiant glow for a more youthful, fresh looking skin. So it's supposed to be like a multi-use powder. They said that you can wear it on top of foundation or you can wear it like on its own as similar to like a powder foundation. It's also supposed to be moisturizing even though it's a powder and there are six shades. I do have several powders in my collection right now and the only place that I powder is underneath my eyes. I rarely set my whole face. If I do, I do have like a MAC powder back there that I typically use, the mineralized skin finish, but I don't really powder my whole face. I have dry skin. I'm not looking for a powder foundation. So I definitely will not be trying this. I will not be picking it up, but I will say the packaging definitely looks stunning. Like the packaging looks very luxe. And you know, Melt has been kind of hit or miss for me. If this was, I don't know, maybe like a bronzer or a powder blush release or a highlighter, it might have caught my attention and drawn me in a little bit more. I know that they have those products already. I'm just saying, if it was one of those, that would have caught my attention, but like a powder, I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I won't be getting that. Makeup Forever is coming out with their HD Skin Concealer. It's supposed to be hydrating, plumping, blur texture, and color correct. This concealer is said to be feather light, buildable concealer that visibly smooths, brightens, and corrects, and wakes up your under eyes with an undetectable real skin finish for 24 hour wear. I will not be picking this up. I have a couple concealers in my collection already, and concealer isn't something that excites me or that I try to keep several around. But it does sound like something that would be interesting to me. I do have dry skin, so anytime you're talking about hydrating, plumping, blurring, I'm here for it. I just don't feel the need to like go out and purchase or try a ton of concealers. I also don't know if I were in the market for a concealer that this would be the one that I would try because it does say that it's buildable, which makes me feel like it's gonna have a little bit of a lighter coverage. And I do have dark circles. I have two young children, a four-year-old and a one-year-old. Like, I need to cover up my dark circles, but also I have dry skin, so I don't want it to stick to my dry skin. So I don't know that this really has sold me with its claims, but I'm also not in the market for one. So we're gonna pass on this too. This looked very boring to me. It's the classic matte palette by Kylie Cosmetics. It's said to be an all-in-one eye palette that features 10 essential shades to create everyday effortless looks. It released last month in July. It's just a basic matte palette. I have not tried Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow formula in years, but when I have tried it in the past, I haven't been blown away. It hasn't been something that's really like caught my eye and made me want to like try more. And I'm a shimmer girl. You can see I have some shimmers on the lid right now. Like, I'm all about my shimmer. I'm never gonna reach for an all matte palette. And I'm not typically someone who uses a bunch of different palettes together. I typically reach for one palette and like, that's what I use. So, although I do have two palettes on today, but I am going to be passing on this Kylie Cosmetics. I don't know, I feel like she's kind of fallen off. Like back in, what was it, 2017, 2018, everybody was raving about Kylie Cosmetics and her lip kits and all of her eyeshadow palettes and all of her releases, and I just don't hear much from her anymore, but this is not one that excites me. However, an eyeshadow palette that excites me, and I've already ordered it, is the Mini Starlet Palette 
from Natasha Denona. It's one of her five pan eyeshadow palettes. It's one of the smaller ones, $27. You have three matte shades, two shimmers. One is a metallic and one says a bold yet subtle chroma crystal eyeshadow. I bought this when it released on Sephora. It is being sent to me. I'm very excited about it, but I'm cautiously optimistic and the reason why I say cautiously optimistic is because I haven't been in love with her five pan eyeshadow palettes. I did have the mini sunset. I decluttered that one. I have, let me look. Okay. I thought it was the mini retro, but then I was questioning myself. I have the mini retro and I don't love this one either. I feel like the quality is not as good as her midi size eyeshadow palettes. Her midis, those are like some of my favorite, like hands down, love the formula. I don't find this formula to be the same. You do have two shimmers here. You do have two mattes and then this is more of a topper, but I find that I'm either using these two together and putting this on top a little bit or using these together and putting this on the inner corner. And I, I just am not reaching for this the way that I thought that I would. But I'm optimistic with this new mini starlet because I feel like I can use all five of those together. Here I feel like I have two distinct looks. I don't typically mix the peachy shades or the pinky shades, the blush shades and the greens. But here I feel like I could use all of those together and it's $27. So I'm excited when it gets here. I will film with it, but I picked this up. I want to know down below if you picked this one up too. And then of course we have to talk about Mother Pat. Pat McGrath released another mothership. This is the mothership 11, I believe, called Sunlit Seduction. She only drops these once a year. They're heavy duty, large eyeshadow palettes. They're like $128. I knew that this was coming. I was excited to see what it looked like. And I have to say, if I did not already own Moonlit Seduction, I probably would have purchased this one. Like with the two next to each other, I feel like this is the one that I would rather purchase. But I was gifted Divine Rose. I haven't even tried that yet. And honestly, the color story seems a little repetitive to me. The reason why I'm saying I'd be more likely to try this one is I don't love her special shades. I don't, I don't, I don't love her special shades. That is what these palettes are known for. They're known for like the Astro Blitz, the special shades, the glitter, the shine. I don't like glitter. I don't like shine. I want to twinkle. I don't want to have glitter all over my face. And so I find that those are very toppery. They get glitter everywhere and I don't love them. But I was watching my friend Leah Janae's video when she did a video using this palette. I'll link it down below. And I, I actually really loved it. It looked like the special shades were special and wouldn't get everywhere and they weren't chunky and they weren't just glitter, but they were shiny and sparkly. Now I feel like it would be repetitive in my collection, so I'm not going to spend the $128 to get it. But if I didn't have the other two, I definitely think I would have picked this up. Moving away from eyeshadows and into lip products, Petra Ta has now released some silk lip creams. It looks like there are five shades. They're $26. There are also some suede lipsticks for $32. And it looks like the same five shades. So I have not tried the lipsticks. I have to be honest. I have not tried the lipsticks, but I have tried the lip creams. And I really enjoyed the lip cream formula. I felt like it was very creamy, very pigmented, like one swipe and I would get boom in your face pigment but mine went bad, so I no longer have it. I have not tried the actual suede lipsticks, although they look quite beautiful. I am on a no buy for lip products this year, so I will not be picking these up, but I have to say, some of these new shades look very beautiful. Like I'm looking at the swatches and shy looks like a nice pinky nude, flushed, blushing, like they're just nice light pinky shades. I probably have them in my collection already, replicated a million times. I recently filmed the lipstick collection tag. I don't think that I've posted it yet, so that will be coming soon. But in filming that video, I realized that like I have the same shade over and over and over, and I feel like that's what would happen here, although the packaging looks beautiful on these suede lipsticks. Benefit is coming out with a new mascara. It is called the Fan Fest Fanning Volumizing Mascara. That's a mouthful. 
It is supposed to fan out your lashes side to side, amplify, amplify volume, and multiply the look of your lashes. Okay. It says that you have a full flex fiber brush and it's not supposed to clump or flake 24 hours. I don't know who's wearing their mascara for 24 hours. Smudge proof, water resistant, humidity proof. I would be interested in like trying a sample of this perhaps. I'm not gonna go out and purchase it. I do love a volumizing mascara. I typically go in with a volumizing mascara first and then I follow it up with my Benefit Roller Lash. I feel like the Benefit Roller Lash is great for lengthening and I really like to follow a volumizing mascara up with that one. So Fan Fest might be great to go in conjunction with the Roller Lash, but I'm not gonna go out and purchase this. If I were to get a sample, I would be excited to try it, but I have a few open mascaras and I don't really need another one right now. Tarte has new Key Largo Glow Drops, Glow Boosting Drops. Serum infused glow boosting drops you're supposed to be able to mix with a moisturizer, primer, or foundation for a nourishing glow on the face and body that looks luminous and smooth. So it has vegan squalane, sodium hyal hyaluronate, and a powerful antioxidant blend. Will not transfer $35. I have to say, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. So here's the thing though. The product itself sounds divine, sounds delicious, sounds like everything I want in a product, but when I look at the packaging, it says that they are bronzing drops. And when I'm looking at the models who are using it, it is a bronzing drop. Like there is tint to it, there is a bronze tint. And I just had an issue where I was using my undefined beauty serum SPF that had a tint and you could see it on my skin. It was, it was too deep for me. So this is a product I'm going to pass on, but I have to say if it was like a white shade or clear or lighter, I'd probably try it because it sounds good. Mixing it in with moisturizer, primer, or foundation. Do I need it? No. I have the Auric Glow Lust and I already don't use that, but I love to glow. We have some blushes. These are the Feelin' Cheeky Clean Amplifying Talc-Free Blush Duos by Give Beauty. So each duo includes a sheer satin shade to add luminosity and a natural radiant shade to plump up the vibrancy. These are $28. Honestly, I feel like I would try one of these. I would, I would try one of these. Maybe like the Crush On You or Lasting Love or the honeymoon phase. I would do maybe stars aligned, maybe stars aligned. So now I'm looking at the actual swatches. Yeah, probably stars aligned or crush on you would be the one that I would want to try. I'm not going to run out to purchase it, but I'm definitely interested. I'm very into blushes right now for some reason, blushes and highlighters. I keep purchasing all of them. Give Beauty has not impressed me too much in the past, but I mean, I love a blush, so I could see myself trying this out. Charlotte Tilbury came out with some beach sticks. We all know these are not for me. A sun-kissed summer glow inspired by Charlotte's favorite Ibiza and beaches, so you can wear them on your chicks. What? You can wear them on your cheeks and lips to give you an instant sun-kissed summer radiance. It's just like a cream blush, and I'm not into a cream blush, so I'm not going to pick this up. And last but not least, Makeup Forever is coming out with some new face powders. They're calling them face powders. It looks like, oh, okay, they're blushes and highlighters. I was so confused for a minute. I was like, what am I looking at? Some of them looked blushy and some of them looked highlightery because they are powder, blushes, and highlighters. $32 each. I never really got into Makeup Forever. It's not that I think these are bad or that they don't look beautiful because they do, but for whatever reason, I just don't find myself drawn to Makeup Forever products, so I won't be getting these either. Okay, but that's going to do it for this video. I honestly just wanted to talk about the Natasha Denona palette. I wanted to talk about the Pat McGrath palette, and I just kind of wanted to go through some of the makeup items that I saw floating around there. I probably missed a ton, so let me know if there are any new makeup releases that you're really excited about or that you were really uninterested in.
that's the word I'm looking for, uninterested in. Let me know down below. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go. That way I can see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.